welcome back to another watch me work video this video is going to be a complete start to finish watch me work you'll see my removal process all the way until i moisturize at the end so it's been about a week and a half since i decided to take a break from peel base because it was causing a lot of lifting to my clear layer under my color so i'm using the e-file and filing away my color i'm using a coarse drill bit and once the color is removed, I go in with a fine drill bit. This helps smooth the nail out and I could get closer to the cuticle area and clean that up because it doesn't have the rounded safety tip. So I do that on all the nails. I won't show you because it's boring. I follow that by clipping my cuticles just on the nails that need it. I do this very often. I'm very anal about that. I don't like dirty cuticles, so I'm constantly picking at them and clipping them. So I think only about two of my nails needed some maintenance. Once I'm done prepping my nails, I wash my hands before applying my color. Applying dip base is a very important step. You want to make sure you're very careful when applying it. I work very slow, applying it only where I want my color, making sure it's not bulking up around my cuticle area. And instead of dipping into my color, I pour over. This method works wonders. You are missing out if you are not doing the pour over method. Using a toothpick or a dotting tool after each dip to clean up around the cuticle area is a lifesaver. The manicure looks much neater later on. This orange powder was so easy to work with. It's from Dazzle Doll and I'll leave the information down in the description. But you'll see later on, I didn't even have to buff this out. It was so smooth. It goes on super thin. So I actually did three coats of it so I could get full coverage. But guys, I'm telling you, it was amazing to work with. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the pour over method, this is how you get your color back in the jar. You just fold the filter up and pour it back in. This might actually be my first time doing an orange manicure and I'm really feeling it guys. I like how it looks on my skin tone. I'll definitely try this color again. This finger rest has been a lifesaver. Not only does it help keep me in frame when filming, but it stabilizes my finger, which leads to a smoother application. The finger rest is from the Nail Prop Shop, and I'm actually one of their affiliates. So if you're shopping with them, use the code CATSNAILS10, and you'll get 10% off your entire order. For my accent nail, I decided to go with a glitter ombre. Glitter ombres are super easy to do and there's many ways to do it. The way I do it is I apply dip base on my full nail, then I use a brush to tap the glitter onto the top half of the nail. Once I'm satisfied with the glitter placement, I finish this layer with clear dip just to even the nail out. If you don't apply clear dip to the rest of the nail, it'll bulk up around the tip area and the nail won't be even. We'll repeat this process one more time and when we're done, we're going to encapsulate the whole nail with a layer of clear dip.
glitter gets everywhere so since i can't pour back this clear into my jar i'm going to be reusing the clear that fell into the coffee filter so that i could use as much of it as possible without throwing it out You can actually see all the glitter that contaminated the clear. So the way I save it is by pouring the clear onto a cap and I'll just reuse that when clear capping my nails. The reason we encapsulate the glitter nails with clear is just because if you have to do any buffing or fouling afterwards, it will remove the glitter if you don't have a clear layer on top. There's even some solid colors I've had to clear cap because they get patchy when buffing. So it all depends on the color, I guess. On my thumb, I decided I wanted a full glitter nail, so this one will be much quicker. Doing the pour over method three times and then encapsulating it with a clear layer of dip. I'm still reusing the same clear from earlier. I try to get the most use out of it since I can't save it and pour it back into the jar. I just use it as much as I can. Now that the hard part's done, we're gonna go in and activate. You wanna make sure the nail is well saturated and that the liquid's being absorbed throughout the whole nail. I always go in with the nail file and correct my shape after dipping because the product builds up on your nail and you lose a bit of your shape. Once I'm satisfied with my shape, I use a cuticle drill bit to clean up around the cuticle area for that desired crisp look I like. I often forget to use this cuticle drill bit after my manicures and I love it so much. I don't know how I forget to use it. I then switch back to my fine drill bit and smooth out the nails. But something very strange happened with this manicure. The orange needed no buffing or filing whatsoever. It was just so smooth. I didn't want to mess with the color and file away anyways. So I left those alone and focused only on the two nails with glitter. That being said, I totally recommend Dazzle Doll Powders. So easy to work with, very thin, and I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but I swear that there was a nice scent to it. So we're basically done with this manicure. I then wash my hands, come back and clean my work area so I don't contaminate my top coat. And I'm using a gel top coat. I usually use a gel top coat and cure it for 60 seconds. 
Just as I do with my dip base, I apply my gel top coat in very thin layers, working very slow, getting it only on the nail. If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you head over to my Instagram and give me a follow. My name is at NailedByCat. Once I'm done with the whole process, I then wash my hands and apply coconut oil. I like doing the coconut oil soap because it cleans up any leftover residue around the cuticle area and it also moisturizes your hands very well. So I just use a brush, apply the coconut oil on all my fingers and nails and then just slide it into the glove. I try to do at least 30 minutes. If I can, I do longer. If I can't, I mean 15 minutes is good enough. Here's the end result after I've removed my glove. Very satisfied with this manicure. Thank you guys for watching and let me know what else you'd like to see me do.